to Maine and Alberta and our chapter called Environomics. Last time we learned that if you compare solar electricity to grid electricity on an apples to apples basis, that solar electricity could be the cheapest option in as little as two to four years. The conclusion that I'm coming to in this is that it appears that solar electricity will be cheaper than electricity from the grid within for homeowners in Alberta within two to four years from now. Amazing. I, I did not think 10 years ago that I would be saying this. I did not think five years ago. It's just has been a process of, of seeing others say it. And then I said, OK, what, what, what will happen in Alberta? So of course, I'm keeping my eyes and ears open a lot for what are the price of carbon capture and uh, greenhouse gas emissions and transmission lines, because those strongly affect the economics of solar. Adding the environmental, health, or social cost to the price of a consumer good is called full cost accounting. This is considered essential for the widespread adoption of sustainable goods and services in a free market economy. What's fascinating is when we reach this point called grid parity, is that it is comparing unsubsidized solar electricity with no environmental side effects with grid electricity in Alberta that has huge environmental effects and in my view is highly subsidized. A, a very significant barrier to the use of renewables and energy efficiency and I've noticed this for quite a while is getting the information out there so that people understand what the economics really are. Made in Alberta will always give you the information you really need. Now let's meet an Edmontonian who's found a unique way to take messages of social responsibility and respect to the streets. The bicycle billboard is a lightweight steel frame trailer you pull behind your bicycle and displays various forms of media. My name is Jeff Lambert, I'm the inventor of the Adcock bicycle billboard. Well, everybody that drives past me looks because it's, it's such an eye-catching thing. that The word respect catches their eye, or the peace sign, or the think respect, and it really catches their eye, you know, and no matter if they're on the phone or if they're driving by, or I, on the side of my eye, I see everybody looking at me as I, as I go by. So the idea started out to promote peace and respect. So that's what I want to create right now. I want to find people who want to participate with me in pulling these positive messages around the streets of Edmonton in hopes of lifting the spirits of people and then hopefully find companies that want to align themselves with that positive message. I mean, it is a lot of fun pulling these things around to get a lot of positive response from people uh, right on the street because I'm right there and saying hello to people and people are saying hello back that would otherwise be quiet on the streets. Down White Avenue, down Horlack Park, uh, out in St. Albert the other day, um, downtown, uh, down 24th Street. And very positive response too. People are always giving me the thumbs up or it brings a smile to their face and they start talking about it. And uh, yeah, if I can just leave a little positive image in their head as I go by, that's fantastic. Join us again on Made in Alberta for new energy economics and so much more.